I think people are drawn to cars because it represents some form of beauty for them. These are really beautiful cars in beautiful colors. For me, this is a form of art that I can truly interact with and use. I look at it as rolling sculpture. My name is Mark Skinner and I'm the owner of Zurich Classic Motors in Brooklyn, New York. And I have a serious penchant for sobs. My upbringing as far as cars go was deeply informed by the men in my neighborhood where I grew up. I grew up in Youngstown, Ohio, which was a, a steel town. Men were into their cars. I grew up in the suburbs, so it wasn't just the steel workers. There was a doctor across the street who owned Ferraris and Maseratis. Insurance executive had Studebakers. Guy up the street had Jaguars. That was around me on the street waiting for the bus. These men would be driving off to work and they would go by early in the morning. My elder brother, Bill, who worked in the design center for Ford and General Motors, would drive me to high school in a 446 pack Plymouth Superbird. My father was also into cars and got me involved in the cars he loved from his childhood. I got my driver's license in a Saab 99, which was very rare in our town, but something inspired my father to get this first European car. I did Volkswagens, BMWs, Mercedes-Benz, and around 2014, I was like, you know, I, I want a Saab 900 Turbo. So I bought a 1992 900 Turbo, and that started it. always wanted a 99 turbo, couldn't find one. And then this orange car showed up and it wasn't a turbo, it was an EMS, which was their sport model right before the turbo. And it was such an amazing car. Their engine was built in Sweden, they weren't getting it from somebody else. It was truly their car. And you know, it had a lot of firsts. First heated seats, first headlight wipers. The bumpers were collapsible and they would reform. It has these massive pillars that are, form the A-arms. So it has a roll cage. You know, when they went to rallying, they had to fit one with it for the regulation, but they kind of really didn't need one. So they overbuilt the car. It, it came with four wheel disc brakes and we're talking the 70s and it's not a luxury car by any stretch. They had something to prove to themselves you know, it was a small country, Sweden, small town, Trollhatten, and they were proud. One of their ads was, we build cars as if we were buying them, not selling them. A lot of uh, integrity and love and affection for uh, the end user and themselves. The orange car in particular was ordered and purchased as a European pickup on a honeymoon of the first owner. Then they proceeded to drive it around Europe and ship it back to the States. It still carries the Baltimore port sticker in the front window. But the car in this condition, this is a, a testament to the care of the first owner. It was autocrossed and it had 12 SCCA victories and was the state champ in Pennsylvania, I believe 76 and 77. So it has some special things. It's, it's got reinforced A-arms, competition springs, it's got a competition rack, headers, uh, muffler. It's just a lot of fun to drive. And it, it has the original paint. So it's like how, how it doesn't sort of, <laughs> you think a car that's doing autocrosses is gonna get a little damaged. And again, a testament to how well it was built. The color, the condition, Mostly Saabs are hatchbacks, which they called combe coupés. This one's a notchback, and it's a rather elegant design, and it wears it very well. The interior is beautiful with that sort of crosshatch brown material. It's just beautiful. You know, I went on to the Saab 9000, and then I got another Saab 9000. I really looked to find these cars because uh, I think the Saab 9000 is Saab's masterpiece. They put so much into this car and it's, it's such an amazing vehicle that really never got its due. Although it's all there in black and white to find, uh, it just, people went to the BMW and the Mercedes, the E-Class and the 5 Series. But this was its own entity. Nothing looks like this. They're very sophisticated cars. The chassis is amazing. I mean, even today, the road manners of the car are superb and it's fast. It's surprisingly fast. 
The reason that I believe that Saab represents me as an individual is their being a contrarian. Being a contrarian in the right way to aspire to something different, to reach for what is possible, that's always interested me. You know, I've always said, why, why, why? I'm still like a, I'm like a young kid. I always dreamed of having a garage, a carriage house. When I first came to New York City, you could live above and drive out. One thing led to another, and I was able to get this space. It wasn't always the sanctuary of Saab. I was using it to park my construction trucks because my day job is a contractor. And there was an old horse stable. And as they demoed the building, we took the wood. This was the subfloor that the horses stood on. And this was the actual floor. Finally, I had a big birthday coming up and I said to my guys, let's move all this stuff. So we put it up on the walls and I built a sprung dance floor here and hung the disco ball and we had a big party. And I tore up the dance floor and started collecting cars. It dawned on me for my own self gratification that this to me is beautiful furniture. Like some people collect sculpture or paintings and I, I have some of those as well. But this to me is, is beautiful. So. I just kept chasing it. For me, cars are to take you somewhere, to actually explore the world around us. Building this kind of space and, and living with these beautiful objects takes quite an effort. And so a lot of times I'm out, you know, doing the hustle and the New York thing and I'm pulled out of myself. But when I have those, those moments where I can sit and be quiet and realize what I've been able to accomplish and the, the joy it brings me, it's been very gratifying. I tell you, Magnus Walker came in and, and he sat over there and he looked around and he said, you know, I've been around uh, loft spaces for a long, long time. And I have to say, this is one of the best spaces I've ever seen. I do feel blessed, truly blessed for what Saab has brought me.